What happened to Jorge Riviera in real life after Griselda? Jorge Riviera was the notorious godmother's right-hand man in Griselda, but what happened to him after the Netflix series ending? Ravi was initially the hitman of another drug lord, but after a few episodes, he joined Griselda instead. Loyal and dangerous, Ravi was far more likely than Griselda's husband, Dario, to carry out her most disturbing orders, so she began to lean on him more and more throughout Griselda. However, after robbing a bank for quarters to make a phone call, police finally caught Ravi, and this ultimately led to Griselda's arrest, but what happened next? Griselda tells the story of Miami drug lord Griselda Blanco, who first rose to prominence dealing cocaine in Colombia before taking her game to Florida. As one of the few women in this massive criminal industry, the godmother had to rule through fear, using violence and murder to keep herself in a respected position. This often meant ordering the likes of Jorge Riviera to do her dirty work, so the man went down for many of Griselda's more horrible crimes. So, after the events of Griselda, Ravi ended up in prison far longer than his boss. When Ravi was arrested in 1993, he was suspected of over 20 drug-related murders, via CBS, but there was only enough evidence to convict him of three. The first was the murder of the two-year-old son Jesus Chacho Castro, who was caught in the crosshairs when Ravi attempted to kill Griselda's former bodyguard on their boss orders. The second two were Alfredo and Grisel Lorenzo, who were late paying Griselda for a recent shipment of cocaine. The brutal hitman murdered the couple while their children watched TV in the next room. Of course, this was only the tip of the iceberg regarding Ravi's crimes, but it was still enough to get him the death penalty. The only thing that saved him was the decision to tell the police anything they needed to know about Griselda Blanco. However, just as in Netflix's Griselda, a phone sex scandal between Ravi and several members of staff at the district attorney's office caused the hitman to be disregarded as a reliable witness. So, the godmother was spared more severe convictions, and Ravi still avoided the death penalty. Ultimately, he wound up sentenced to 25 to life in prison. Ravi is still in prison in Florida today, 31 years after his original sentence. The ending of Griselda revealed that Griselda Blanco herself was released from prison after six years, but Ayala wasn't quite so lucky. The crime boss Hitman is on his 31st year of a life sentence, despite appealing for an early release back in 2013. Ayala had hoped to have his sentence shorted as a result of his cooperation with police, but when a Miami-Dade circuit judge denied him, stating that the request was untimely Ayala's attorney stated that he would likely die in prison. Though Griselda saw the titular queenpin only get sentenced to seven years in prison, the real Griselda received three 20-year sentences meant to be served consecutively. However, due to health concerns, she was released and deported after less than a decade. This hardly seems fair compared to Ravi Ayala's sentence since both were responsible for these innumerable crimes. Of course, Griselda was assassinated shortly after, and though Ravi is imprisoned, he has outlived his boss. So, regardless, the pair's fate was intertwined, just as was said in Griselda.